Here comes the flamethrower. Come on, Sterling, live! Live, Sterling, live! Yo, what is going on, YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka A Drive. But guys, another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Bug Lock. It is about to go down. If you guys enjoy this series, show some love. Hit that like button down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, as we are throwing down on the bug lock once again with the squad. It is time, baby. On the last episode, you can check it in the description. We took on Gardenia and got our second badge without any issues, which was amazing. And now we're gonna deal with Team Galactic here, because they seem to be uh, in their little hideout, doing some doing some bad things, man. And we gotta go deal with them. So let's cut down some trees and let's go see what's going on there. I'm gonna cut down this tree because there is a, like an item hidden in the back over here. So I'm gonna go see if I can grab that. And then from there, we will uh, we'll see how things go. I do have a question today today for you guys. What is your favorite Shawnee hunting method of all time? As we pick up TM46 Thief, which is a pretty good item for us. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But what is your favorite Shawnee hunting method of all time? You guys can let me know in the comment section below. For me, I think back to the deck snap. This game obviously has a couple cool Shawnee hunting methods, like uh, the potential to do uh, Pokey Radar, and the Underground has a, has a boosted Shiny chance. So some really cool stuff. So let me know in the comments section below what your favorite shotting hunting method is, and let's jump into it. So I think I'm actually gonna get a rid of Night Slash for Thief. I feel like having Thief could be really, really good at Redemption, and it's stronger, aside from the crits, because you do get the Technician boost. So yeah, we're gonna give him Thief. I really like that. All right, let's see what Team Galactic's up to here. They got a bunch of people just lounging around. What are you guys all doing? Oh, is that a double battle right away? Oh man, they took, they took some pain to the Cycle Shop Manager. I think, um... Yeah, I think we could definitely use Bonnie and Redemption here. It seems solid. Let's see how it goes. Double battle time. Let's get it. We are gathering Pokemon for Astonishing Undertaking. Sorry, dearie. Team Gladi doesn't accept children as members. All right. Well, let's do it. Let's see what you got for me. Let's see what you got for me. They got four Pokemon. This should be pretty easy, though, I think. Wurmple Zubat. Yeah, we should be. We should be A-OK -okay against this. Bonnie and Redemption, they don't care. Redemption does not like fighting side by side with Bonnie, let me tell you, but it's all good. Redemption's like, y'all, I'll just do it myself. Like, <laughs> hold, hold my G fuel, I'm gonna just handle this myself. He don't, yep, he don't care. He said goodbye. Redemption does not care about anyone else's feelings. Just wants to put in the work. Bonnie gets a nice level, Clyde gets a 20. Beyonce's starting to get close to evolving, and a huge pickup for Clyde learning Venishock. I think we definitely pick up Venishock over Gust. Yeah, 100%. Like I said, if we could have, end up having a moveset of like Venishock, Toxic, Roost Protect, or Moonlight Protect, that's gonna be really clutch. Sterling, our highest level, all the way to 24. And this Gus probably beats the Little Worm. Yeah, it does. Bonnie doing her thing. You already know about Bonnie. You already know about Bonnie. And Beyonce to 20. I think it evolves at 21. I'm not positive, but I think it does evolve at 21. Here's a little Glameow and a Cascoon. Oh man, they make this way too easy for me. Um, I should just be able to Gust the Cascoon and Wing Attack the Glameow. And there's the Fake Out into Redemption, unfortunately. So Redemption not able to move this turn because of the Flinch, but the Gust should knock out the Cascoon and then the following turn. A Wing Attack should easily knock out the Glameow. I mean, this is, this is a no-brainer. We should be good to go here. Big Gust and a Wing Attack. And again, this, this Wing Attack is just so powerful. All powerful. Goodbye. See you later, Team Galactic Grunts. On to the next floor. Let's get it. Bonnie just told me she really doesn't want to battle right now. So we're going to swap her out and we'll get uh, Clyde some action. Um, Bonnie said, you know what? I'm chilling right now. Not really interested in the battles. Where are the contests? I'm like, listen, Bonnie, we can't do contests right now. We got to get through Team Galactic. I'm going to just beat all these trainers up. They're going to be easy. I tell you what, Bonnie is super impressed with all the work that Clyde has done. That's a nice little development in their story, but uh, the commander's here. Did you want something? How silly of me to even ask. You want to free the Pokemon? Yeah, that's going to happen. All right, time to throw down against the Galactic Commander. And this one is Jupiter. What do you have, Jupiter? You have a Zubat. Okay. I can work with the Zubat. Zubat's a little sketch because it does have potential wing attack. But I can't imagine it's that high of a level. Clyde should be okay here. It's level 18, so we get to just click Confusion. And this is super effective. It should be a two-shot, I would think. It's not. A little short of a two-shot. I'm gonna Supersonic, but Clyde doesn't care. Clyde just dip, dodges, and, and dodges. Dip, duck, dodge, dive, and dodges. The five Ds of dodgeball, baby! 
Another confusion. Doesn't get a high roll. No confusion. Here comes a poison fang. Very good move, but we resist that. So non-issue for me. And I can confusion again. Gonna switch out the Zubat. Ooh, they've gotten smarter. And to go into the dark type skunk tank. Wait a minute. That's actually a thing? Okay. Okay. Um, I don't really have a good way to hit this thing with what I have on the field right now. Might be the play to go Sterling or Venomax, but what is Venomax doing? Not really a whole lot. Maybe Bug Biting. I think Sterling's probably the play here and the strongest that I can send out. This thing is scary though. He could have a fire move. So we'll have to see how this plays out. He has Flamethrower! Oh boy. This is bad. This is very bad. Um, I think I lose a life on something. Yep, I think so. So I can YOLO a Sing here, right? And try to sleep him. And Redemption probably KOs with two wing attacks or at least darn close. Nothing else on my team wants to take multiple flamethrowers. So I think I'm YOLOing a Sing here or I'm rock smashing and hoping that I get a defense drop. I think we YOLO the Sing. Hits the Sing, let's go. Huge plays. Okay. We got one turn of sleep. Now the question is, do I, do I heal? I think I super potion on Sterling to heal up. And then I can hopefully get off two Fury Cutters before he wakes up. Or at least he doesn't wake up on the first turn. Oh no, he woke up. He woke up right away. I lived. Do I YOLO again? Come on, Sterling. Sterling, it's another Sing! It's massive! Okay. Okay. I think the play is Fury Cutter. Rock Smash might be better though. What's the chance of Rock Smash to drop defense? I think it's 50%. I think it's 50% chance to drop defense. 50% chance. I think we go the Fury Cutter route. And just hope I get some turns of sleep. That's good damage. He wakes up again. Here comes the flame door. Come on, Sterling, live! Live, Sterling, live! Sterling lives on three! Okay. The question is, do I Fury Cutter again? And hope for, I have Swarm, I think I KO. Come on, don't miss. Oh, he lived! He lived, Sterling! He lived on just a sliver. No. Oh, our first death. Sterling goes down. Oh, he almost had it, dude. We had Swarm and Silver Powder and Fury Cutter and we just missed out. Ah, oh, now just a reminder, Sterling can come back and still has two lives left on the playthrough, but that one hurts. That one really hurts. I'm gonna assume that wing attack does enough here. And it does. And it had aftermath, so Sterling wasn't gonna make it either way. Uh, unfortunately, he was gonna go down, but Redemption does what Redemption does and comes back in, takes a smug look at Sterling and says, that's why I'm the best. Body picking up Air Cutter. Nice pickup for us over Gust. That's a rough one, man. We were so close, dude. We were so close. Fury Cutter dealing so much damage, bringing it down to a sliver of health, but the Silver Powder plus the Swarm Plus the second hit of Fury Cutter was not enough. But let's not forget what Sterling did in that battle. Because the fact that Sterling was able to hit two Sings in a row. In a row. And keep us in that fight. That could have been much worse. That could have been much worse. Wow. Hit that like button for Sterling, guys. Seriously. Losing to some child. Being careless cost me too much. Wow.
Well, aren't you tough? It's okay though. Our official Pokemon statue investigation is finished and Mars has collected energy from the Valley Windworks. We're pretty much finished here. I'll let you in on one little thing. Our boss is researching the myths of ancient Pokemon. With the power of mythical Pokemon, he'll become the ruler of Sinnoh. I suggest you keep out of Team Galactic's affairs from now on. This is your last warning. I got my Clefairy back and it's all thanks to you, but that Team Galactic, they said Clefairy came from space, hand it over. Their logic baffles me still. It's like they're from space. Anyway, they're gone. Thank you so much. Cruise by my cycle shop, all right? All right, we can go get a bike now. But that was a rough one, man. That was a rough one. So I'll take a nice well-deserved break at the Pokemon Center, that's for sure. Hey, yo, bike dude! What's good, man? So he's gonna hook me up with a bike, and we can move along the game, baby. Oh, he's gonna take me outside? Where are we going? I'd like you to choose a color for your bike. What would it be? I'll go with green. Ooh, I got a green bike! I love it. It's somewhat reminiscent of the seat on Bulbasaur's back. I was thinking more about the bug types, but that's cool. Press the B button to shift gears. In third gear, the bike cannot reach full speed, but it'll be easier to handle. In fourth gear, it can ride full slope. Now get out there and ride. Let's get it. Oh, wow. It feels really smooth, actually. I like the bike, actually, quite a bit. I suppose it's time for us to head to the cycling road now. Hello, sir. Hey, drive long time no see. I'm the Rowan's assistant. How many Pokemon have you met? 42? Bravo, here's something for you. A rare candy. Hey, thanks, bro. Give me a rare candy to a Pokemon will instantly increase that Pokemon's level by one. If a Pokemon you get in a trade may disobey you. If you get, it doesn't, yeah, you know the deal. You know the deal. All right, so we've got a handful of trainers we're gonna have to probably beat up here on the cycling road, but I can't imagine they're gonna be too tough. Um, although, I should not be underestimating anybody, but uh, if anything crazy happens, I'll keep you guys posted. A Staravia, eh? All right, well, I guess things are uh, getting crazy right out the gates. And I'll tell you what, Sterling really, really wants to have a chance to fight this Staravia. I just don't know if I could bring myself to do it. I just don't know. He wants to. Sterling, she is, she is begging me right now to come out of her Pokeball. She's like, let me at him. Let me at him, coach. All right, Sterling. I, I wasn't gonna bring Sterling out here because, you know, we just had that very tough loss, but Sterling knows that she was there for the team and she wants revenge on this Staravia. So let's hope she can hit her rock smash. She never misses. There's a big rock smash to the face. Huge crit. Gonna take a growl. Okay, okay. Sterling does not care about this thing. Wants to just continuously bash into it. Rock smash. Here's another one. Not gonna get the crit. Gonna take a wing attack though. Sterling's like, yo, I'm shaking this off. I'm going for this Staravia. I want my vengeance. And Sterling does exactly that. Don't forget when Sterling was a little cricket tot, her mom was taken by a Staraptor. And she is gonna continuously want vengeance for that. So she's out here and she's doing it. All right, that's what, that's what it is, that's what it is. And I think level 21 is a very important level for Beyonce. Yes, Beyonce is evolving. And while Beyonce is the main chef of the team providing the honey to everybody, it's very important to note that she is indeed the queen bee. She is the queen bee and she supports being a single lady. All right, all my single ladies, she's over here like, yo Bonnie, yo Sterling, Y'all need to stay single because as much as I like Clyde and hooking him up with food and honey and stuff like that, at the end of the day, it's all about them single ladies. And Vespa Quen is added to the squad. And wants to learn the move Slash, so we can work with that. That's better than what we've got. I mean, we've got some decent moves actually and some great stats, really good attack, great natural bulk, and just overall a, a pretty powerful Pokemon. So I'm excited. And I think I mentioned this in a previous episode. This does learn rock moves, power gem. So that could be pretty useful. Hey, we just finished up the bike path and got some sky stickers and we're heading to Heart Tome where we can get some more stuff, which is dope. And I think we're actually headed towards a few more honey trees, which is also really good. Uh, some berries over here and there's like a whole new area for us to explore that we can go do. So we're gonna go, we got a lot to do is really what it comes down to. There's that cave where in Platinum you can find Gibble, although I'm pretty sure he's not in this area. And I have a very cool idea on, oh, there's our honey tree. Oh, who's here? 
Oh, it's Dawn. Hey, Dawn. How's your Pokedex coming along? Uh, I've got something nice for you. Choose which hand you want. Uh, left. I want the Versus Seeker. Oh, that'll actually be really handy for us to kind of practice against certain trainers if we need to. And I think she gives us the Dowsing Machine. Also very cool. So, I think all of those things are great. Thank you very much. And I'm gonna apply some honey on this tree for sure. So let's do that. And I'm gonna go heal in Auraberg, which we can now access. And I'm gonna grab some berries too. And another honey tree. I'm telling you what, we're gonna get that hair across, guys. It's gonna happen. Plenty of honey trees set now. I think if I were to check my map, you could probably see I've got... Uh, let's see how you do that. Look at all the honey trees I have marked right now. That's a solid... What is that? Six? Six honey trees. So, the Burmese and the Heracross, they're coming. They're gonna be on the team soon, I believe. Whoa, you startled me. We may as well battle. All right, what do you got for me, buddy? Big hiker. Hiker Theodore. What does he have? Like a... Oh, he's got an Onyx. All right. I did put Sterling in the front, because anytime you see a hiker, you gotta expect they're gonna have some ground types or some rock types. And Sterling's ready to play uh, this Onyx final tune here, which is, of course, click and absorb. Stealing some of its life force and sending it to the Shadow Realm, although it actually lived. Go oh, it's because it's got Sturdy! And he's gonna go for Bind, but Sterling Dip Duck, Dodge Dives and Dodges. We'll Fury Cutter to knock him out and set up a second Fury Cutter for the next Pokemon in case it's not an Onyx. Although, Absorb's probably still gonna be better either way. Sterling hits 25, our highest level in the squad. Bonnie to 21. And another Onyx. So I think I just go for Absorb again, honestly. Sterling wants to be pet. So I guess the uh, kind of the happiness slash affection increases even without the following. Because Sterling's, I was hoping Sterling was gonna live that skunk tank hit earlier, but it didn't really work out too well. But we beat out uh, Theodore, no problem. And I've got a lot to explore. I wanna get through this entire cave system over here. I think you partner up with somebody for it too, if I remember correctly. And we found the poison barb, which is actually huge. That's actually massive. It's gonna take a little bit of convincing. I know Clyde loves to hold his berries, but I just, I really feel like he's gotta have the poison barb. So I'm gonna give it to him. He may not be a fan of it for now, but I think it's worth trying. So we'll see how he feels about it. You know he's always hungry, but I'm trying to tell him, man, that poison barb is clutch. Him and Venomax have been hanging out a lot lately. And, oh, here's the cave. It's not even hidden. Why did I feel like it was hidden? Wayward cave, I gotta get Flash. But they've been hanging out a lot lately and talking about their competitive strategies, how they can maybe pair up, the fact that we have uh, toxic spikes, so there's some cool stuff there. I do have Flash. I can only give it to one Pokemon, though. Kind of tricky. Um, I'll have to figure out who I want to give it to. I think I got to get rid of Stun Spore on Beautifly for now and give Bonnie Flash. And, you know, she likes to help out the team. She's cool with it. She doesn't really want to battle right now, so we can throw up a Flash and then we can explore this cave a little bit better. And this little dinner plate right here holds the secret of something very, very important for redemption. It is gonna be hard to get. It is a 5% chance, but I should be able to thief a metal coat. Maybe, I don't know. I'm hopeful. Maybe I'm too optimistic, but maybe just maybe we can do it. I'll be real though. Even if I were to get the metal coat right now, I'm not convinced the best idea is to evolve at this stage of the game, I actually think staying as a Scyther for a little while longer is probably good. And you might be like, hey, Drive, that sounds crazy. But the reality of it is, Scyther's really fast, right? And that in itself is an advantage. His wing attack is so incredibly strong. And we have a fighting type gym coming up. So with all those things, ooh, this is a tough battle. With all those things kind of kept in mind, it's probably a decent idea for now. And we pick up TM32 double team here in Wayward Cave. Want to get a nice little upgrade over Absorb with Mega Drain. Anytime we can get some good grass moves to hit those uh, rock and ground types, definitely an uh, advantage. Still looking for Mira, I think her name is here. Um, wait, who's learning Slash? I think we're good. Uh, Sterling is. Still looking for Mira, which is like a person that you kind of can travel through the cave with. I am a little lost, but I'll find her. And there she is. I'm Mira. I was catching Pokemon and then I got lost. I'm so scared. Please take me to the exit. And now we get double battles the rest of the way, much like Cheryl. Although I did beat all the trainers that had, you know, double battles, but that's okay. Um, this will give me twice the chance of finding Bronzors now as well. And hopefully we'll get that metal coat we're looking for. All right, I'm gonna reveal. I spent a lot of time looking for that metal coat and I have had zero luck. 
It is a 5% chance to find without compound eyes, and as much as I love my bug types and they often have compound eyes, none of mine do. So, no metal coat for now. I know we will get one later in the game anyway, so I can always come back and try again, but I just, I spent a lot of time looking for it. See you later, Vera. It's nice to meet you and play with you and, uh, you know, help you help you get through the, the cave here. I'm gonna go, uh, I, I don't think that hidden cave is here in this game, is it? Oh, it is. It is still here. Why do that? Oh, you just can't go anywhere, right? Is that what it is? Yeah, you just can't go anywhere. This is like a secret entrance. I don't know if you can actually catch anything here either on this spot. Interesting. All right, time to work our way to hard home, I believe it is. So hopefully we'll have some success with that and uh, we can beat up some of these trainers. Like I said, I, I would love to get the metal coal right now. I wouldn't evolve them anyway. Not the end of the world. Um, maybe in between episodes, I'll go hunt for it or something. Ooh, this might be a little bit of a tricky battle. Ponytop Pachi. I also was kind of getting a little over level too. Like, cause every time I thief a bronzer, I'm getting a lot of XP. And um, I just don't want to like end up super over leveled or anything either. Uh, what do I want to do here? I can, I think you get rid of the Ponytop first. So I'm going to double into the Ponytop here. And we should be good. Venishok should do a good amount. I think Slash probably gets the rest. Yeah, it's just, am I fast enough? Flame Charge does come off with a Pony Title. Ooh, that did a lot more than I thought it was going to. Gets a speed boost, but I think the Queen Bee, all my single ladies, should probably be able to do enough. Spark won't do too much to Clyde. Slash should finish the deal here. And it does. I could actually Moonlight on the following turn and Bug Bite, and we should be in good shape. Beyonce up to 24. Wants to learn Aromatherapy. I'll skip that for now. I don't really think that that's that valuable. And we can actually Bug Bite and Moonlight. Heal up. Here comes the Quick Attack. That shouldn't do much. And we can see the Sig Moonlight animation, which I haven't seen yet. Hey! Even though it's daytime, don't matter. We'll get some nice healing up. And we will have the Big Bug Bite come off. Doesn't knock it out. But we will knock it out in the following turn with another Bug Bite and a... I guess I Beam. We might have to... Oh, we're faster. Nice. This should knock it out. Venishock would have. I should have Venishocked. That's okay, though. This Spark isn't going to do anything. It does, like, you know, 10%. Not a big deal. Bug Bite finishes it off. And let's keep on rocking. There's a lot of routes on this part of the game, man, to get to the next location. Ah, Youngster Austin has a Starly. Well, guess who's looking for vengeance once again? It is Sterling. Ready to go. Here we go. Fury Cutter everything. Your quick attacks do nothing to me. I believe in Sterling. Yeah, buddy. I'm just going to set up this, this Fury Cutter. Just continuous Fury Cutter struggle here. Or not struggle, destruction, rather. See you later, goodbye. Ooh, he's got a Chimchar, level 18 Chimchar. I wonder if a third Fury Cutter actually KOs here. It does, dude. Fury Cutter's so good, it's so good. Now, does a fourth Fury Cutter KO a Geodude? I feel like it's gotta, right? It does, look at us go. Good stuff, man. Yo, tell me I've actually been using the uh, the item finder and it's been pretty clutch. <laughs> Ooh, Clyde wants to learn Leech Life. I feel like that's a new move for him. That's honestly not bad either. Ooh, that's so tricky. Do I get rid of Psybeam? I feel like you don't, right? And I feel like you can't get rid of Venishaw because it's so good. And I feel like you don't get rid of Moonlight. And if you get rid of Poison Powder, then you lose the benefit of Poison Powder Venishawk. Oh, I think you just pass on it, dude. Oh, that's, that's, that's unfortunate. That's a really cool move. I don't feel like he normally learns that, but um, it's hard to justify. On a team of bug types, it's hard to say, yes, I need every bug Pokemon to have a bug move, right? Um, and as much as Clyde likes to steal the life and uh, berries from other Pokemon, I just... I just don't think it's worth it because, you know, we're going to have bug type attacks on a lot of the bug Pokemon, so Clyde will have a special uh, special role on the team. All right, we are officially in Mount Coronet, the center of, of course, the Sinnoh region. Let's check my dowsing machine again. Anything? Ooh, it's Chibisaurus! According to one theory, Mount Coronet is where the Sinnoh region began. In a newly created world, a world where only time and space flowed. There should have been no strife. 
But what became of that world? Because the human spirit is weak and incomplete, strife has spread. The world is being ruined by it. I find the state of things to be deplorable. And he just leaves. Doesn't tell me anything about him. Just bounces out of here. See you later, buddy. And on to route 208. Handful of trainers to take on again. But again, we've been kind of just flying through these trainers. They haven't been too much of a challenge. Don't say a word. Just take it. An odd keystone. Well, there you go. The way to get Spear Team. And another honey tree for us, of course. So let's slather that with some honey. And a jar of honey, very conveniently located. And I think the Berry Master's here, which may be the key to some of my mega problems. I've got to battle this person here as well, but then we're going to check out the Berry Master. And then I think we're right on the outskirts of our heart home. Oh, Berry Master. I'm the Berry Master. A raspberry. No, you got to give me something better than that, man. I need like oak berries and stuff, dude. I need more. I need more berries. Oh, the town map shows me where the berries are. Oh. Again, no good berries here, but I can buy some Chesto berries. This is actually kind of clutch that I don't have to, um... I could trade these for uh, more seals later, so I'll buy a handful of them just so I can trade them for seals. And here we are in Hard Home City! Who's it? Who is it? Oh, it's a Baneri! Hello, Baneri! Ooh, we can unlock following Pokemon soon! Oh, thank goodness that you happen to be there. If it weren't for you, who knows how far away my Baneri could have run. Baby Baneri, back into your Pokeball! I'm Kira. Please drop by the contest hall so I can thank you properly. All right, we've got a lot to explore. This is a big city, so let's let's take a look around. I'm gonna talk to everybody. This guy wants to give me an egg, so I'm gonna box Beyonce for a little bit just to hatch this egg. I'll probably try to hatch it like pretty quickly. Um, this is from Johto. I wonder if it's Togepi. I'm gonna try to hatch it pretty quickly, I think. And the Poffin case is given to you by the chairman. All right, I'm gonna cook some Poffins. I don't know if I've ever done this. Well, I think I have just a really long time ago. Let's see if I can figure out how to do this. Okay, so you turn your joystick to do it, I guess? Oh my god, it's actually like kind of tricky. Oh my god, my hand hurts. Two flasks overflow. Oh my god, this takes so long. It'll burn, hurry, I'm trying. This is probably the one, first and only poffin I'm making in this game, by the way. All done. That better be like a, an amazing poffin. Bitter poffin. No, I do not want to keep cooking poffins. Never again. I think this is the church. Ooh. Ooh, a shell bell. Yo, that's actually clutch. That's a really good item. Why do you got Team Galactic on your TV? This chick seems a little sketchy now all of a sudden. I'm assuming you can't do this gym right now? Or can you? Uh, that's impossible. She's not here. Come back another time. Yeah, I saw her standing outside of the contest hall. Uh, let's see what Fantina wants from us. Oh, I'm so sorry. Please excuse me. Are you entering a super contest show? Enjoy yourself. Fantina, the hard home gym leader, seems to also be the super contest show expert. I am Fantina. You may challenge me, but not yet. You must become stronger. Then you may challenge me. Ah, uh, so you do have to do Maylene and Wake first, I believe. But now I can do the super contest shows. Not sure if this is what I want to do with my life. But Bonnie has been begging me to do- Oh, Mom's here! What's up, Ma? What are you doing here? And I get an ethereal sticker. Okay, we take those. All right. Bonnie has been begging me for, uh, I don't, I don't know if we're gonna do it, but Bonnie has been begging to do- And we get a tuxedo to do a super contest show. She's like, please, please, I want to do a super contest show, please. I guess we got to do one, right? I got the- I got a poffin case. All right, Bonnie's been asking. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. We're gonna do a normal rank beauty contest show for Bonnie. She wants to come in. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Select a move. Uh, I guess. I guess air cutter. Oh, I get all I get all snazzy as well in my contest style outfit. Let's get it. All right, beauty contest normal rank. Like I said, I had to do it for her. A driving Bonnie coming out. Heather and Pitt, <laughs> the Jeremy. Do I have to do something? Oh, we got Wesley and Dizzy. And Jade and Juicy. Okay, okay. Juicy. I think I'm doing this right. Bonnie shows off with the air cutter! I don't know what I'm doing, but that seemed like a good idea. Dude, I just got like eight brilliance in a row. There's no way we don't win this. Oh, of course I choke there. All right. 
Let's see if I won. I think I did all right. All right, it's time to announce the stars of the show. Jaden Juicy? I didn't even win? No way! <laughs> it's rigged! Poor body is devastated right now. She is devastated. Oh, man. I can't believe it. So the only way I can access this place is if I use my little uh, Turtwig here. So Turtwig, you gotta you gotta help me just so I can do the uh, the following stuff. Oh, TM43 Volt Switch chilling here. That's kind of big. And TM45 Attract as well. Not bad. And a spooky plate to boost the power of our ghost type moves. That's our first plate that we found. And an amulet coin to boost the amount of money we get. It looks like the Pokemon taking a stroll with you want to make their Pokemon come out. So now we should be able to let our Pokemon come out of their Pokeball. I think it's only fair that we walk with Sterling our starter first. How cool is that? I love it. And it just like flies above the ground. Hey Sterling. And now Clyde is walking with me. Oh, I love the following feature. It's so good. It's so good, man. I think this is the perfect spot for us to wrap up this episode of the Brilliant Diamond Bug Lock. Be sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And don't forget to pick up an awesome Team Shawnee t-shirt at TeamShawnee.com. Use code Shawnee for a discount if you pick up three or more shirts. You can find a link in the description below. And I'll see you guys on the next episode of the Bug Lock. Peace.